All right, there's something happening in Davidson County, and there's no doubt in my mind that, oh yes, it is going to spread to your town, no matter where you are in the triad. Really, this is either coming or already been to every street in every single town. Take a look at this Facebook post. The sheriff's office says, folks, tis the season for scammers, and tells about the numerous calls this week regarding hacked social security numbers, warrants for arrest against those whose social security numbers have been used fraudulently you know that the sheriff's office wants you to do. You know what they want you to do? They want you to give the scammers their phone number. Really, seriously, they're putting it out there. And it's funny to think of a scammer talking to a deputy, but what you really need to know is how the scams work so that you, a family member or a friend, doesn't get taken. She said that in El Paso, Texas, someone was using my name and social security number to send thousands of dollars to Mexico and Colombia. So to get rid of the warrant, he followed the woman's instructions, buy 1400 bucks worth of Google Play cards at a drugstore, then give the numbers off the back of the cards to the scammers over the phone. She, of course, told him he'd get the money back. But you know that that didn't happen, right? This example is for Social Security, but the scammers also pretend to be the IRS, and there was a mistake on your taxes, or the power company telling you that they're shutting off your lights or heat. Here's what you need to know. The Social Security IRS power company, they never call you out of the blue. And here's another biggie. They never, ever, ever accept payment with a gift card.